Hello everybody. This is the end of the day, but I just want to thank everybody for watching my videos and uh and this video might be a little messed up. <laughs> Man, I had a heck of a time making this wheel design on this uh gate I'm making. But uh I finally get it done at the end of the video and uh yeah. I just want to thank everybody for watching my videos and uh help me uh get it over a thousand subscribers so I can get my channel monetized. Yeah, I'm begging. No, I'm not really begging, but there's 800 and some videos on this channel and some of them are pretty good. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe. And there's probably going to be two or three hundred videos made this summer, so by the end of the year, anyway. We do a lot of lands, not landscaping, but do a lot of lawn mowing, brush clearing, and uh, tree trimming, and cutting some trees down, and a lot of maintenance. So, thanks for watching. Enjoy my video. This one here, I'm working on another gate, my last gate for my family. I ain't decided. I got one more, maybe as a little man gate. So that's my last big gate, my 14 footer. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Okay. I didn't get that very straight. Oh well. It's going to be hidden behind some uh, pickets anyway. That's going to be quite a few pickets across there. On that 14 foot gate. I got to figure out how to put a wheel down here. I should have flipped that damn gate over while that was broke because I'm going to have to cut it anyway. Man, it's been cut down there too. I might cut that off. Redo it. Because I forgot. I got to put this wheel on there somehow. That's going to be my wheel for this gate. It's a bigger wheel. A little heavier. Hold this big old gate up. All right. Okay, let's put this up against the post and see how straight it is. This camera is about dead and it's ticking me off. All right. Welding her up. Okay, I'm gonna take that tractor and loader bucket. Try to straighten this gate out a little bit of this frame. I got my truck backed up on the other end down there. I'm going to push down in this corner and see if we can get her straighter. Let's see if I got enough uh, camera here to get this straight.
see my metal I right hit my wood right there. This is my 14 foot gate wheel. I got a little bit more welding to do. This stuff was already on there. I'm just going to cut it off. Cut this one off here where I can fold it over maybe and reel it around. It's plug that hole so water don't get in it. Then I'll take this long one and I'll go from here to there. After I weld this. And I'll take this one here and I'll go from here to here just to make it a little sturdier. I got another piece that's going right from here to there. Yeah. It'll be real sturdy then. Alrighty then. Then I'll put my 2x4s across it. And my pickets. I'll have me a gate. Got to put my hinges in still. The posts. Oh, let me see what I got to do here. I got to cut this off. Cut those all off. That picket's got to be cut off a little bit. Then I'll put my hinges at an angle a little bit. So we'll see how much I got to cut off there. Probably may have to take it all off. Might be able to leave a little bit. But yeah, this turned out to be a pretty good gate. Uh oh. Yeah, I hope that uh, we'll have to before we put the hinges up. We'll ho I hope the post is right in it. This should be the post would be right here. So, this should work. Alright, let me measure it real fast. Measure the slum buck. Measure where the gate's going to be. Okay, that leaves seven inches from the end. Holy mother. Let's say we get the gate to hang just like right there. Oh yeah, it'd be a way over there. I got one, two, three, four. It'd be over in here somewhere. I should be able to get it. It should be up on the inside of that post. My wheel. 
gonna be sweet. Okay. We're gonna have to make sure it is though, because the gate's actually got two inches right here. It might be real close. That's Megan. She got me. Oh no, it ain't Megan. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Let's go this way. Let's try this again. I think there's enough room. I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm going to go watch something on TV. Hey, like that contraption, ladies. There she is, boys. <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. Might use that big long rod right there. Put across the middle. Nah. I don't need to do it. Maybe another pole going this way. I don't need to do that either. Alright, I gotta do some more welding. going with a little overkill probably on my bracing this is probably gonna go up this way it might go this way actually yeah it goes this way a little ways a butt from it got that one there a little bit overkill on my bracing here probably and then I'm gonna put one more that goes from here straight up to that one oops from that straight up to that then that'd be all. That should hold that wheel in place. Keep it from moving. We hope. Okay. <clears throat> then I'll have a 2x4 running across the center. And then one from the wheel there over on the bottom. And one at the top going across. And then all my pickets. Yeah. We'll see how it works. Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to weld on that a little bit. And uh, try to get the gate over there so I can drill some hinges.
you guys moving the camera for? What the hell? Well, I'm going to go ahead and weld on this some more. I'll show you later. Okay. I hope I'm putting this in the right spot. Because if I'm not, I'm going to cry. I measured it three times over, so I'll see if it's right. If I put it in right there, it's going to be a little lower. Let's put it in just a hair higher right there. That should do it. We hope. I didn't even measure the levelness, but okay. Put it over to the side because I want my gate to go back just a little bit further than that post corner. Maybe just a little bit. I think it'll be okay. I got my wheel holding this other end. You know, see my wheel? There's my wheel. In case you guys weren't out there watching me weld it earlier. All right, let me put that hinge in there and then I'll hang it and we'll see if it's rolling. All right, I'm finally done with my 14 foot gate frame. Looks like it's going downhill a little bit. That's a couple of driveway slants this way. But I need to put some grease on this wheel. I need to shoot some WD-40 on it real quick. Do I got some here? It's right there. I'm going to shoot a little of this WD-40 on it real quick. Let's see if I can get this wheel and turn very good. I'll turn better when I get all that weight off from that. 
two by fours and pickets. So step them up there. Oh, I better move the boards out there before I back my truck up and forget the other. It's coming almost even with that telephone pole. I did that on purpose. Made it even out with that pole there. I'm going to put another pole in the ground right here. And then I'll put my... I got a drop box that people can pay me with. I don't know. I'm sure I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put my drop box over there by that pole, maybe. Might put it over there where I can make the front of my drop box full-time shut. I might make another slit in it on this side where people can put their bills in it, and then I can open up the other side to get my stuff out. From Don't have to come through the gate. We'll see what happens. I may just leave it like it is and... I may have it in that wall. But, or I may put it right there. It's worked pretty good having it out here anyway. So, yeah. That's my 14 foot gate. I gotta put my pickets on it and I'll be done. I'll probably put my drop box right here. Cause, this is the way I am. It works pretty good doing it that way. That wheel turned out really good though. I think it'll turn better once it gets broke in. I get some real axle grease in there. I'll get my chainsaw thing and I might drill a little dinky hole in it or just stick it in there and grease the heck out of it. I may have to drill a hole in this side though because I got it pretty. I might be able to slide my wheel back and forth though. Get her greased up, she'll turn better. See, I can turn it by hand here. I get a little weight on it, it probably turn. It's just got one bad spot. It just needs to wear in. Oh, the deck of D40 starts to work. It's getting easier. All right, it matches that door in my garage, squeaky. All right. Hopefully I won't have to open it too many times. All this vibration to go out of it whenever I get uh, my pickets on there. Okay, I'm gonna pick up my tools. Call it a night. Thanks for watching my videos. Like and subscribe, help me out on my YouTube channel. I'm growing slower than a turtle. But uh, the tortoise wins the race. So I'm going to stay in the race and we'll see what happens. See you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.